Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cyrix, and today I'm be showing you guys how you should be playing Hardpoint as an AR player. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks and just walking you what I do through this game. We had a slow start, but we brought it back and we got the dub. Um, so let's get right into it. Starting off for run P1, I don't even go for it and chow it. Um, I immediately run over to P2, and as you can see here, we have already have an enemy there. So I, I immediately flood back because um, my teammate gets picked and I'm just going to sit here and wait for his peak. Uh, we want this P2. This is what you want, especially for Skid Row. Um, P2, you just want to make sure you lock it down, especially as an AR. You want to sit up top and have your subs um, slaying out. You want to play the point on this. You just you got to expect it here. As you can see, we're, we spawn barbershop. So just remember the enemy team's going to be coming from ticket or garage and they're just going to be flooding this point. Because remember, P2 is really important on this map. Um, it's literally the, one of the 60 hills, and a 60 hill is um, a hill that you can get a full 60 on, and it's unbreakable. And this is literally the hill that is unbreakable as long as you're set up properly. As you can see here, I'm just playing my life, um, getting gathering information, helping my team where it's needed. I get that pick there a um, ton because my teammate called him out. And again, just playing my life, getting picks. Um, making sure I'm not overexposing myself. You know, we're trying to get this heal time here. Um, at the same time, you see, just my teammate died there. Got some info from my team. Those two guys are pushing. Trying to throw some nades just to slow them down. Um, you remember, you don't want to die here. You just want to try and get that full 60 and allow your teammates to help you out and slay out. You just want to make sure you're there as a support. And uh, as you can see here, I overexposed myself and I died to a nade. Even though I had a trophy on point, I'm not sure, but I spawned P3, and uh, so here I'm just going, I'm trying to get some angles on the an enemy team from rotating, and I get picked off. It's kind of what you want to do. You want to make sure you can cut off the rotations, uh, make sure you can set up your team for the next point. And unfortunately, I spawned out here, so now I'm pushing back through, uh, gonna try and help my team break this hill. And uh, as expected, there's one there. I lose that gunfight, which I should not be losing. Always expect that um, someone to be watching that, especially in AR. It's a good AR angle to hold while you have your subs on hill um, for P3. And we need this break here. Nice, I get one pick. I'm just pushing around. I'm playing for a barber already. Um, they pretty much won that hill, and I'm just going to set up for new. Uh, let my team know. That way we can make sure we can get as much time we can off this hill and uh yeah because that last hill is chalked so here i'm just playing setting up for a new hill looking for team looking for picks and uh there's one with the i got an assist there oh, there's another person there on top of the steps he pushes in easy pick memory we don't want to overexpose ourselves we are running an ar here so and this is like a smg point so I am just trying to play my life here on the hill, um, you know, play, take that smart gun fights here and just, you know, our job is to make sure we cut off those rotations like as I should not be losing that gunfight on um, that apartments. It allows that team to break through and uh, makes us lose more hill time. So we still got quite a few time, quite a few seconds here on this next hill. We're going to try to do one more break and uh, if we're... We are fortunate enough to get the scrap time. If not, then, you know, just rotate to new. And unfortunately, they're still pushing old. So it's, uh, that one's chalked for us as well. Just time to push P5. I'm just going to come here, hold P5. Let my team do um, chow that. As you can see here, they're already rotating. So we want to try and out-rotate them. This is why we're down. So uh, we, this is why we're down about 40 points because we're getting out-rotated. And that's not what you want at all. You want to make sure you're ahead of the game on rotations. So here I'm just playing for the picks, trying to get them off hill, and they get picked. Ah, not okay. <clears throat> Pushing up here, get one ticket, trying to help my team here. We need to break this hill because they're, they're they're about a whole 60 point 60 seconds um they're a whole hill ahead of about us already so we need to make sure we 
we're breaking hills we got to make sure we're holding doing better holding because we're just getting broken off point here i'm just holding these plats trying to get some picks from the rotations like i said you want to jobs to get kills cut off rotations make sure that there's nobody trying to flank your team um especially here you know p5 the next one's p1 here inside this window look that guy almost gets through luckily i got him and another one comes through the window and that nade gets me but like i said they were flanking through there and uh those were some two good picks to help slow them down from the breaking point so here i'm just pushing up through graffiti Trying to see if I can get some picks. Trying to play for P2 already. Like I said, P2 is crucial. This is the reason why we're still in the game. Is because we're holding this P2 point. Um, I'm getting that early rotation for it. P1 is literally like a... F like a, ba a, a fucking battle for the hill. Like see, I out-rotated them. They're still waiting to see if we're rotating. And I'm ready here on point. And they weren't expecting it. So, this is what you want. P2 is your hill. You want to make sure you're... Always ahead of the game on rotations. You don't want to fall behind on rotations. You don't want to lose. And that's a good pick right there too. And oof, good help team. You know, you get like, that's what you guys want. You guys want to just have a good setup. Play your life on hill. You know, get picks where you can. Don't overextend. Don't overpeak. Because if they break... It's really unfortunate if they break because they should not be breaking this hill. This is literally, like I said, this is a 60 hill. You should not be getting broken. As I have my two subs slain out there and I have one more on point just helping me out in garage. How it should be. And, uh, or even, like I said, even this game, the meta is AR. So, you know, there's probably one sub on the map sometimes and three ARs. It's just depending on the the team and the players you play with i'm a personally an ar role i sometimes flex i play the sub and i know how to slay out um but i prefer an ar role for sure and here i'm just starting to rotate to the new to p3 i'm gonna try and go through the back alley flank just see if i could get some picks maybe get us better spawns p4 and as you see, I get, come back here for the flank, get two easy picks on him. What a great rotation. Get the cruise missile. And we just hold this hill here. I'm watching these double front doors. Most likely going to chow. But we, as you can see on our minimap, we still need someone watching the alley because we're going to get flanked. So I come pick this up and boom, perfect timing. Now I'm pushing for the next hill. Playing for P4. This is what you want to do. Like I said, early rotations. Even though we're not getting that scrap time. Someone someone on your team should always be getting scrap time. But I'm, I'm trying to early rotate for their, our team. Make sure we have the advantage of the hill. I picked up the sub and it absolutely slays out on this hill. You can see I dropped two there. Pop my cruise missile. Hopefully I can slow down the rotations. And uh, let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, I, I got a team kill. Which is not what you want at all. Because <laughs> um, that allows them to break through that tunnel push where they were pushing from. And I was trying to slow them down to begin with. And like, see? They end up breaking hill. They were able to take control of that deep alleyway. It's okay. I'm going to let them have that. There's only 30 seconds left. So I'm going to be playing for P5. P5 is another big hill. Um, especially for an AR. You can sit here and watch this. Watch these rotations. And here I'm just waiting for a child, waiting for someone to peek. Uh, and you see I'm over, I'm, I'm watching one angle too hard. I should have watched my ticket booth. Um, especially since no was pushing down my tunnel. You, you always want to be watching multiple angles when you're, especially when you're solo on a point like that. Because you never know where they can be coming from. So, you know, you just want to watch these chows. Sometimes one sits P2. And there's one tunnel. One tunnel. Here I like to play top P2. It let's me get some picks here. Let's see. Get this next pick with this nade. Boom. Easy pick. And I get flanked. All good. As you can see, we were down in the beginning, but we're bringing it back. <coughs> Ooh, that was just an unfortunate spawn. Unlucky for me. 
Uh, let's see what we can do here. We're trying to bring it back here. We gotta break this hill, you know, at least contest, not let them get any more points. It's pretty close, 25. You know, this next hill can, ne this next hill determines the match. So here I'm setting up, making sure that my team is um, on the hill. Remember, you want to out-rotate. As you can see here, this is the reason why we win, is because we out-rotate the team. To get these early picks. Um, and here, I should have got, I should have definitely won that gunfight. I don't know why I reloaded. But like I said, see how I get that early rotation for us. Allows our, my team to set up. I get one lucky pick with the pistol and hopefully my teammate gets my trade. Yes, he does. Now I'm just trying to play this long haul. Because that's what they're going to be challenging for. I'm just holding them off point. Oh, and I get flanked, man. That's insanity. Well, my team's able to lock it down, hold down the point. Um... We are getting contested. Oh no, we got broken. And this is where I just start rotating P2. There's no way for them to win off that hill, so I'm just going to allow my teammates to contest that and hold down P2 just in case. Because like I said, P2 is very important. And look, it comes down to P2, and I'm ready here. Luckily, thank God. And we get the win. Definitely, if I would have not have early rotated P2, um, it could have been a different story because, like I said, trying to break that P2 is is really hard. It's not easy, um, especially once the team is set up. And luckily for me, I rotated early, got set up, got my trophy down. And I was just in a spot where he was not expecting me, and I was able to get the pick for the win. Look at that. Almost 30 kills with the minute 15 on time. And that's just what you're supposed to do as an AR. Drop kills for your team, cut down rotations. And just, especially on Skid Row, just try and play that P2 hill. ARs, 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 all over that hill is what you need. Um, every hill is different. Every map is different. Some hills you're going to need the subs on. The, some, like for instance, Barber, you're going to need a sub on hill. And it's just, it is how, it's just how the game is, you know. There's, each hill has its own advantages for the roles. And that's why it's good to have at least an SMG on the map for that reason. Because there's those close range hills that... Especially in turmoil, you got burger. Good having a sub just play their life in burger, or even um, or even for instance Karachi. You know the B term, the B control point. It's also a good a place to have a sub and you know just be able to lock down and control it because this map is very AR based. But you know it's still good to have a sub on the map to be able to slay out and win those close range encounters. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Uh, comment what you guys, you know, what more I should do tips and tricks on. Let me know if you guys enjoyed again. Make sure you like, subscribe for the algorithm if you truly enjoyed. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.